Welcome to Primo RV Center and inside a brand new 2024 Coachman Freedom Express 320 BHDS. This is in the main line of the Freedom Express series. Previously for about the last three model years, this model was only available uh, in their slightly upper line uh, Maple Leaf Edition um, or Liberty Edition, depending on which side of the border you're in in North America. So this was always been a, a family favorite for us. Um, and I think bringing it into the main line and just trimming off some things that not necessarily everybody was using or was important, which helped to drop a little bit of weight, but it also dropped some cost. But in terms of standard features, uh, Freedom Express has kind of raised their, their midline, the standard features level, uh, so that you're really getting a lot for the money here. And it's just a wonderful camper that we get many customers that'll crisscross the nation with this layout, especially if it's a bigger family, but it works equally well if you're looking for something that could be parked as well. Um, but perhaps in the future, you may buy a vehicle to uh, to be able to tow um, with the three slides. And again, if you've got a lot of family and friends, really works well multi-generation wise. So we'll start here right by the door. Uh, certainly one of the things that um, uh, our customers noticed right away was the very first model Freedom ever had with a closet. So right when you walked in the door, You've just got tremendous storage here. Just you can imagine if you've got rain wear, if you've got leashes for the dog, again, all the rain boots, hiking boots, that kind of stuff. It can all be stored in here. You could even put a couple fishing rods tucked away in the corner here. So it's just got a lot of versatility. You could use it in many different ways. And it's kind of right in the spot where, you know, if we were designing an RV for ourselves, it's exactly where we would want it as well. We've got our monitor panel as soon as we come in the door. So especially if you're traveling, you're going to appreciate that. You can quickly check, you know, see how full the fresh tank is, the black tank, the gray. Uh, you're going to have switches for two of your, your slide outs here, your awning, which is one that you'll hit right away just to create some shade. And then things like our water pump, which we may use on the road and, and our bathroom here would be uh, something we can get to. It's accessible, so very handy to use. Uh, and then most of our light switches are all located just right here. Uh, we do have another slide switch just below. So this will be our kitchen slide out switch, uh, which is a uh, shorter slide. Uh, just behind me here so again everything right by the door kind of where you'd want them and then immediately to my left we'd have our kitchen so especially if we we're traveling we may be popping in to grab a few things so the island design here just creates just a ton of storage you've got um, outlets all the way around it as well on both ends uh, again nice deep sink here where it's stainless steel sink and you've got a little bamboo cutting board prep board and then you've got a little drying rack here as well which, which can be folded away nice high-rise faucet so it's nice and easy to fill those bigger pots and then you just have a ton of room for those bigger pots and again if you are traveling with a bigger family or perhaps you meet people there and then everybody ends up in your unit this is just a wonderful floor plan for exactly those kind of family trips uh, again if you tend to travel with family and friends. So if you're a baker, you know, you've got lots of drawers here to organize baking things. You've got room here with the counter space uh, to be able to bring like a mixer or again, a high-end coffee maker, espresso maker, something like that. Standard, we're gonna have a microwave in here. We do have a hood fan uh, with a light as well. We're gonna have a three burner stove, drop-in stove with oven here. We've got all the ignition up top here. So no one's having to bend over to try to light the thing. Um, getting on your hands and knees like uh, traditionally in the past we may have had to and again lots of storage here in the island and then we get into our fridge area here so we've got a Furion fridge very handy especially with the kids room being right here it is a dual opening fridge so you can open this bad boy from both sides it is a 10 cubic foot magic chef with a great big freezer as well and you've got an amazing pantry next to it so again very easy for a family very nice and self-serve for young kids you can put things at their level and then they can help themselves when it comes to uh, snack time. And you've got, again, room up above here, really anywhere they can. They have certainly added storage. Uh, that'll continue right into our living area here. So underneath each dinette end, you've got a door. So nice and easy to get to storage, but then you can also get through the top. So if you want to have some bigger items there, nice and easy to do. Uh, this will drop down into a bed if, if you needed the extra guest, guest space. We've got the blackout shade here as well, LED lights throughout. And then the wonderful table design here does allow you to take this table right outside. That could be a primary or secondary dining table, should you wish. Again, nice big awning out there, so you've got lots of room for that. In this particular unit, we optioned in the theater seats, which are quite popular. So you've got uh, drink inserts in the middle. Um, you've got storage for things like the remote controls. And then, of course, you can get in a very comfortable seating position here with being able to recline. And you've got wonderful windows all the way around you. They'll all open up with screens, so you've got some great ventilation there. Some storage for books and games, DVDs, movies, things like that, just above your head there as well. And then you've got your, your theater seats in the primary location where you want them, right across from the television. Nice update in all the Freedom Express units this year, so especially in the midline is the fact that uh, that is now a smart TV standard. So again, if you want to be able to stream things through internet, through off a phone, or just in the campground, I know many KOAs now will have some internet uh, access 
Um, you can certainly stream right from your TV without having to add anything else, which is great. We've got a standard fireplace as well, which is again, another standard feature that traditionally was only available in an upper line. So again, bringing more features for the dollar here and uh, we certainly appreciate it. Our customers love it as well. So a nice little heat source when you're watching a movie that's quiet, um, you're not having to listen to a furnace run. You've got great storage under here for especially just like flip-flops and, and sandals that can be tucked underneath there if you've got a bigger family. And uh, again, little cubbies here where you can charge devices. We've got our Bluetooth stereo here. So we've got speakers both inside and outside. Um, so you can stream music from a device or your phone where the kids can and uh, change up the playlist every once in a while. Uh, we do have a digital antenna on the roof of the television and you can allow it to grab Wi-Fi as well. There's little modules you can purchase afterwards uh, that would allow you to grab any um, free Wi-Fi from a greater distance. So they've angled this bathroom here. So it's sort of an ensuite bathroom for the primary bedroom. But the nice thing is on the road with a secondary uh, door, you can access the bathroom without having to open any slides. So that's uh, something parents really appreciate on the road. Wonderful glassed-in shower here. We've got a great storage in our medicine cabinet as well as... Uh, our vanity. We've got a porcelain base toilet here as well. And then we've got some built-in storage, a little place to hang, again, towels, robes, things like that. Great ventilation as well with the fan. It is ducted for air throughout the coach and we are ducted for furnace through the floor as well. And then we've got our skylight. If you're a bit taller, you'll appreciate the, uh, the little rise there in the shower. So you're gonna have some more headroom there to work with as well. And then as we head forward here, we're gonna have a private front bedroom. You'll have your own entrance to that bathroom. You've got the pocket door here and great addition to some storage. So really re reworked the front storage, listening to clients again. You've got the same great drawer system underneath on both sides. So you don't have to lift the bed to get to those drawers. They are all made out of plywood, so well constructed. Again, you've got the ability to kind of use the center there as either the dog bed, place to where you put your laundry. You'll notice on both sides, you're gonna have room for shoes and sandals. So again, really great use of space. It's all assisted here. And we are a 60 by 80 full queen bed here. So again, if you've got a preferred mattress at home, if somebody has a bad back, you'll be able to use any mattress you wish that is a traditional queen, which is great. So the redesign really comes around uh, the window here. So they've been listening to clients and kind of what their needs are. So we've always had both USB and 120 volt power on both sides of the bed, which we have. They've now added two drawers here for you. So everybody gets two drawers. They're nice and deep. You still have hanging storage, um, but you're now gonna have great above storage and you're even getting slow closed doors, which I love. So if you happen to slam one, especially if you don't want to wake the kids, you're not going to make any noise. And then if you'll notice in both sides of the bed, you're going to have these little cubbies that also have power in them. So they're thinking of folks that do have a CPAP machine, or if you did in the future, you've kind of built that ability to tuck it in there. You're going to have the power there that you need. And then you have the his and her reading lights. There is a sort of nighttime blue tone to it that you can change to as well. So it's not quite as bright for whoever's next to you. Um, so again, really well thought through, listening to customer feedback. You've got great residential hinges here that are fully adjustable should they need them over time. In the bedroom area here, you've got a pre-wire for a secondary television. We can certainly add a mount here or a mount in a television should you wish. You do have with the 50 amp service here, pre-wiring for a second AC. In our part of the world, typically we don't have clients that need it, but it is ready for it. Uh, either way, you're still gonna get the vent in the bedroom as well. So we're gonna create some more ventilation. And as we walk through the coach here, we're gonna get to the rear secondary bed area. We've even had some people turn it into a bit of an office. So there's certainly some versatility here in how you, you can use it. It can be very multi-function, but it is packed with storage. So they redesigned the back here a couple years ago now. And so you added storage underneath. That couch will fold flat into sort of a double bed. And then you've got the ability to flip down the top here to give you an extra bunk should you need it. And it's all spring assisted, so it's nice and easy to do. And then you just have an amazing amount of storage here. So you have an absolute ton of storage for the kids to be able to hang stuff. You've got a pre-wire for a television in the back here. Or again, we can just add the mount for potentially a future television. You've got a nice wide double bunk width here with uh, USB plugs. Got their own ladder as well that'll come with it. And it is all ducted back here. Again, you've got lots of outlets here. So that's what I was saying. You could set up a table back here. You do have that portable table in the front that could serve very well as a desk. So if someone needed a, an office on a tour, if you're doing kind of a month or two tour somewhere, you know, you have that ability to create maybe a daytime office back here if you wish as well and still have uh, daylight. You'd have some cross ventilation. You do have a window just behind here, which is great. And then you're gonna see that full shade here, which keeps this back room nice and dark when the kids do need to sleep. But during the daytime, you can have that off and you're just gonna have a ton of storage, ton of light, ton of airflow. Again, great storage here. Some of that could be for those office supplies should you need it. 
and again wonderful storage all the way through and again having that slide really creates the width in the room here so you've got lots of place for the kids to be able to play but then when it's you know closer to bedtime you, they can tuck all their toys underneath that couch so you've got that built-in toy storage too which uh, as a parent with young kids which I am I certainly appreciate that they can put the Lego away somewhere else other than the floor where I'm definitely going to step on it here so we invite you down to pre B Center to come have a closer look at this brand new mainline 320 BHDS and Coachman's Freedom Express series.